In today's video, I'm going to talk about some skincare that is new to me that I have been testing out. I have some thoughts on some of it, but not all of it. So just kind of an introduction, if you will. Maybe you've heard of these. Uh, maybe you haven't. So if you have and you use them, you like them, don't like them, please share it. And also, if you're testing out some new skincare that you absolutely love or hate, <laughs> just share it below in the comment section. So let's get into the video. So this was... Um, some of the things that I purchased at the sale, there are some things that I replenished, but then there's some things that I wanted to try out. So um, let's pull this one out. Oh gosh, I hope I didn't spill anything. So I love the Sunita's peel pads, but I'm like, I want to try something different. I decided some, to try something different. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to go back to the Sunita's pads. I don't know if I like these. All right. So this is from a company called, uh, Lemieux. I'm going to show you in a second. It's called uh, Skin Clarifying Pads, and there's 30 of them in here. So that's what it looks like. Okay, and then you open it up. I got to be careful because it's very liquidy. Here's the thing. When you get it, you get the bottle of the liquid, and then you get the pads. I just poured it all in here because I thought that's what you were supposed to do. But it's so liquidy in here. I don't understand. I don't get the point of it. I don't. I, that's what I like about Sunita's. It's already done. You just open it up and you use your pads. I also like the pads on the Sunita's better too because I feel like it, they're slightly rough. And I kind of like that because I feel like as I'm putting it on, I feel like it's kind of helps to exfoliate too. And this, I know a lot of people told me that they felt like the there was a lot of, like an alcohol smell to the Sunita's. I mean, anytime you use a peel pad, you're going to have some alcohol in it. It has to evaporate, okay? But this one to me smells like more stronger with the alcohol content. So I don't know that I would get it again. And don't base away my skin. It looks okay. Um, I have something going on here. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I don't know. Another thing that I decided to get, I think this, oh no, this isn't the same brand. Did I get something else from that brand? I thought I did. But, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that. So I got something else from this brand too. And this is called the Lemieux Collagen Peptide Serum. It doesn't have all the ingredients right here. But it says what you, how you use it after cleansing and toning. You just gently pat, pat one to two pumps onto face and neck in the morning and night. I don't use this every single night because it depends on what I'm doing. So you guys know that's when I use my retinol, my AJ and all that. So I don't use it every night. I would say, you know, when I use it, it's usually on the nights that I'm not doing that. So I use it a couple times a week is what I'm saying. So I don't know if that's enough to use it. So it's probably going to take me a while. And I only use one pump. I feel like one pump is all I need. I feel like two pumps is kind of like too much for me. Okay. But so far I'm liking it. It's nice. But I will let you know if it's something that I'm going to repurchase or whatever. I will let you know. And I also decided to try a different. Now I have eye creams that I still love. I use the Sunita's eye cream. I use that in the morning. Uh, the Peptiderm eye cream, and then I also use the um, Colleen Rothschild eye cream, and then I use one from La Roche-Posay, and I think it's called Tolerine something, something Tolerine, and I use that on my lids. I do not have dry lids anymore. That stuff is amazing. I should have brought it in here, but I'm going to be doing a skincare. I'll be talking more about skincare. Today, I just wanted to just kind of focus on the haul, okay? If I remember, I will put the name of that stuff in the comments below, or in the description below. So this is from a brand I've never heard of. This brand I have heard of, but I've never tried anything. But this brand I've never heard of. This is from Havatox. It says 24 karat gold eye lift eye cream. It says it has a SP1 NRTOC, whatever the hell that is. Thermogen ATC, Derma Clara, retin retino retinoide and gold. Um, it's Korean skincare, by the way, because it says it's made in Korea. I don't like the packaging. Packaging is kind of weird because, like, this thing keeps spinning. So you have to make sure that you're holding this and the, the pump, sorry, and the pump when you're doing it. Like, you really have to have a good grip on it because at first, I'm like, and even when you're spreading it, because otherwise it's going to spin all over the place. So when you're applying it and you're blinding it in, you need to make sure that you're holding this. You're not holding it like this. You hold it like that. Okay. 
and I just put it like a squeeze a little bit out. You don't need much. You don't want to waste it. So I only use this at nighttime. So this is my night cream that I've been using. And so far I like it. I think it's nice. Um, I'll let you know if it's something I'm going to repurchase if I think it's amazing. My under eyes look good, but I think they've been looking good before this. My under eyes looking really good. Have you noticed that? Like even my tear troughs don't look as bad anymore. And I'm not, I'm, I'll talk about my concealer. It's not my favorite concealer, but it's actually looking amazing today. But you're going to see a whole review on my foundation in a video. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Anyway, and it's partly what I have under my eyes. Okay, this stuff, I'm, I'm going to give it a chance. And if you've tried this, tell me if you like it or if you've experienced the same thing, okay? The thing about some of the more cleaner brand skincares and stuff is sometimes they have funky smells and sometimes it's just sometimes it's hard to get past it so I'm not sure I feel but I'm I'm really trying okay so this was a gift um nothing else has been a gift no this was a gift with purchase from Christine from Freeze Beauty when um she gifted me all those products I ended up spending money there but anyway she did give me the products she gifted me these shut up Annie okay um, so this is called Epicutus Hyvia Cream. So the brand is called Hefa. Uh, the, the brand is called Epicutus, and this is the Hyvia Cream. And this is same brand, and it's called the. Oh wait, there's another one. This isn't the one that's smelling this. The Lipid Serum. Okay, I don't know if it's a combination of these or what, but what I've been doing is you put this on. It's very thick. I'm going to show you. It's very, like, it's thick, okay? And it doesn't, it doesn't really smell. It doesn't, okay? So I put that on, and then I put this on. I think it's this, but I can barely smell it here. But I'm telling you, when I put this and this on together, I smell like a fish. <laughs> My cat seems to really like that smell. <laughs> She just smells my face all over when I, when I have it up. But I'm not really a fan of smelling like fish. So I don't, I don't know, is it my body chemistry with it or something? But it's like so weird. I want to give it a good try because it's supposed to be really good for sensitive skin. And right now I have some stuff going on. So I'm probably going to throw this on today. But it just smells fishy and I don't like that. I don't like that. So I'm just being honest with you. So I don't, like I said, I don't know if that's normal when I just smell them. Like it smells like, like I really don't, it's the weirdest damn thing. I swear, if I don't know if it's using them together that does it or if it's something with my body chemistry that turns it to smell like fish. But it, I'm telling you, I smell like freaking fish, okay? It's kind of a turn off. Um... This I have not tried. This is, again, from the same brand. I should try this tonight. This is their cleansing oil. I think I'm going to try this tonight. I think I'll try using this tonight when I'm taking my makeup off and not use my Colin Rothschild because I have not tried this. So I will I will let you know on that. Okay. So I started using this. I use this just maybe twice a week. I don't use it all the time. I'm very, very careful about over using acids and stuff because several years ago I was using way too many and it it was too much for me, so I've really backed off of it. I feel like when I'm using my retinol, I just feel like for me, for my skin, I just don't like to overdo the acids anymore. But anyways, this is from Maturium. This was gifted to me. And this is the uh, vegan lactic acid. I really like this. I really, really like this. I'm telling you, there's a lot of stuff from this brand I really like. If you're going to see another video... It might be out before this. I can't remember. And I don't know when this video is going to be out because I film my stuff ahead of time. So I'll, I may, yeah, it may, it may seem like I'm using this stuff for a while before I get back to you. But I, my husband liked to travel this time of the year. So I always like to be like ready to go. <laughs> okay. Like he has, he has a lot of vacation time. And we don't do vacations. We just go on little weekend trips, different places, or during the week kind of a thing. We, like we just got back from St. Augustine. We're always going on little trips. So because of that, I like to film my videos ahead of time because I always like to have my stuff out there. So I always have my videos going. So anyways, 
long story short, <laughs> I'm not really, I really like this. I really, really like this. Um, it's really, really fabulous. And I like a lot of stuff from this brand. So that's all I can say. And I would consider this more drugstore because I do sell it in Target. I don't know if they sell the whole line there, but they sell a lot of it. And I'm very impressed with this brand. I wouldn't say that I would, if they had peptides, so I don't know. I still feel like you, there's some stuff I, I would rather spend a little bit more money on. Um, some of the products, I'd, I'll get into a whole review once I use them up, but there's some that I really like. So I'm going to tell you, you'll see. I mean, I feel like it's on par with Paula's Choice. I really do. Okay, this, I got actually got two of these. Um, and I am using it, and I hear a lot of good things about it. But again, because it's natural, I don't like the smell. But I'm getting trying to get past it. Because I feel like it's probably something that's really good for me for, from what I've heard. Okay, I don't have the box in here. I don't know if it's going to say in here. Um, I'm going to find it on my phone, though this one okay so this is agent nature and this is called holly water it's h-o-l-i water it's hyaluronic pearl and rose essence i think that's what gets me it's the rose it just doesn't smell good i'm not a really i love roses but i'm not gonna see this yeah i'm sorry i'll just put it below okay i'll just put it below i'm gonna be there all day trying to focus on it um I don't like the smell of it. So what it says here, it says, restore your skin's brilliance with holly water. This lush serum uses organic plant extracts, precious minerals, and natural acid to improve the skin's elasticity, tighten pores, and gently remove expired cells. I love how they say that, expired cells. <laughs> Instead of dead cells, they're expired. Okay. To reveal a hydrated, dewy glow. For unparalleled results, use holly water with Holly C, which I don't. It says it helps to reduce the um, redness due to hydration, clogged pores, fine lines and wrinkles, loss of elasticity, dryness, dull and even skin tone, in inconsistent te skin textures. So, and it has lavender and cucumber in it, it has rosa, dementia oil, pearl powder. Okay, so I have been using this and I do have another one of these. I think I mainly use this in the morning. I really don't like the smell. There's some rose scents that just smell like they're not real. real. I, I don't know. Like, I just don't like it. So I'm going to tell you, I don't like the scent. But I'm going to keep using it. I do have two of these. So we'll see if it's something I will end up buying or if it's just like didn't work for me. I will let you know. But. I don't like the scent, but I'm trying to push through it because if it's something that's going to make my skin look amazing. And remember, don't judge it on the way my makeup looks now. I have makeup on, so my skin looks glowy because of makeup. If I didn't have makeup on and it looked like this, then we're talking, right? This is something, again, that was gifted to me. I have not tried this yet. This is the Herbal Face Food, and this is the X. This is called the, the Cure Multi Correction. I fell in love with this brand and I got I told you guys that I ordered one and then the smell was off and that's why I didn't. I'm still going to use this because it's, you know, it was gifted to me. I'm going to use it, but I was disappointed in the fact that it wasn't. I just like I had it and then it was like I felt like it wasn't the same formula kind of a thing because it was totally different. I don't know. So that's why I stopped talking about it. I just kind of felt like for that kind of a money, it should be consistent all the time, you know what I mean? So I will update you and I'll let you know if I like it or not. I haven't I haven't tried it yet. This is something I picked up because I've been getting a lot of dryness by my nose. There's always, I feel like this side always had dryness, but lately it's been both sides. I don't know. It's weird. Um, but I decided to pick this up. And this is from La Roche-Posay. And this is the Sika Plast Balm. B5, it says, with La Roche-Posay Thermal Spring Water. It's soothing, therapeutic, multi-purpose cream. It says, a dimeth dimethicone skin protectant tem temporarily protects and relieves chapped, cracked, and shaped skin. It has shea, shea butter, vitamin B5, and a word I can't pronounce, and I'm not even going to try. <laughs> okay, so this is it, and it is a thicker cream. 
And I do, I did put it on today before my makeup and that's what I've been doing. Just a little amount. It's thicker, but I feel like I need a little bit more in that area. Even though I'm exfoliating that area, you don't want to over exfoliate, but besides hydrating it, you don't want to just put a moisturizer and you have to hydrate it too. So like something like this is going to help. Hyaluronic acid is going to help. I have misting waters that I use. Like I do everything. Okay. But this is something I've been using just as a little extra boost and it seems to be doing pretty good. So I will update you on that and you don't have to use a lot. It's kind of a lot for drugstore. This brand is kind of a high end drugstore brand, if you will. Um, but like I said, that eye cream that I have, I only use it on my lids and my eyelids look amazing. They don't look creepy. They're not dry and peely anymore. I should have brought it in here, but I, since it's not a haul, I will put it below. I haven't tried this yet. Um, I did use these several years ago and I didn't think they were worth it, but I got sent another one. I'm going to give it a try and I don't think it was this packaging. I think that was one of the things I hated about it. Packaging has changed. So this is from Truth Treatments. And this is the Hyaluronic Honey Cleanser. So I'm going to give it another try and see if I like it. Because I love the Sanitas. I love it. Here's the thing. When it comes to skincare, use it, besides a cleanser, I think a cleansing balm is something that's worth splurging for a little bit more. If You know, to me, it is. A good cleansing balm is definitely worth it to me. Because I've used some bad ones. Um... So for me, I think it's worth it. When it comes to a cleanser, it's not necessary that you have to get spend a little bit on it. You could really get something at the drugstore, okay? And I have used drugstore cleansers, but um, I do really like the Sunita's one, and I've used that over and over again. I have a couple more things, and I don't know if I used this before. This is from the Neo Genesis. This is the eye serum. Was I using this? I got a sample of this and I will start using this, but I kind of, I got to figure out how, when to use it because I have other stuff that I'm using. Maybe once I use this up, maybe I'll try using that. I think that's what I'll probably do. And then the last thing that I have is this. This is from Isodin and this is their uh, Age Contour Cream. It's a very heavy glass, I will tell you. Um, but when I open it, I'm going to be honest, I was like, Where's the product I expect for that? I expect it to be filled to the top. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't. So I'm um, going gentle on here. There was some on this lid and you know I was using it, okay? It is a really, really nice cream and I will update you and let you know. I know a lot of people like it, so I will let you know on that, okay? Um, and that is it. That's my haul. Some of the things that were gifted to me you know, like gift with purchases, kind of gifts, and things that I purchased myself. So most of it I purchased myself, I feel like, right? Kind of. Half, half. Whatever. Anyways, thank you all so much for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, before you leave, if there's any new products that you are really loving, any of the products that I'm using that you like, don't like, please share it in the comments. If you are new here, I would love to have you join. I share new videos every single week, please consider smashing that subscribe button below. It is free. And I feel like my channel is really, really helpful because I share reviews. I share tutorials. I keep it 100%. I always let you guys have a voice. So I feel like my channel is more of a community than it, just a channel. Um, and I feel like I see so many of you guys chatting in the comments and answer answering questions for each other and helping each other out. And that's what this is about. So I love that. So Again, if you're new here, we'd love to have you join. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And I would greatly appreciate it if you would also share and comment on my videos as well, because it helps to push them out to the algorithm. And I would really, really, really appreciate it. And for all of you that are new here, for all of my OGs, thank you so much for your continued support. It means the world to me. I will catch you all in my next video.